Hello everyone. Today my name is Wolfdog107 and this is my manga collection video. My first manga collection video. And right now you're seeing all my manga that I have right now. I'm missing one volume which is the first volume of After Hours which I'm letting a friend borrow. But yeah. So I have them organized by price not counting these ones because these two they're the largest so I wanted to put aside but at first I had them organized by size and then I decided to reorganize them when I got new manga when I did that manga haul video I made that video but then I decided from there on I wanted to reorganize them so that's what I did and then I organize them by price so starts with the $10 manga and then going up to like 15 or 16 and so yeah so the first one I'll start with the largest one Battle Angel Lolita Deluxe Edition Volume 1 very good so far I haven't really finished it but so far it's really good I've only gotten halfway but it's a really good manga so far. I'd recommend it. It's $30 though, so yeah. But like I said about the sorting, I'm not including these two in the in the sort in the sorting because they're larger and I forgot the prices, but I knew the price of this one, but this one was large and I didn't feel like putting them in a specific order like price would be good because sometimes their shadow would overpass the um the smaller manga like kind of how it does right here if i put like one of these smaller manga in between these larger ones it would overlap it and you would barely see the smaller one but yeah then we've got wolf children which is um another great manga so far i haven't finished it obviously i've only gotten to that point barely gotten in but so far, it's pretty good. Pretty good. I'd recommend it a lot so far. And I can't really say anything about After Hours because I still haven't gotten to read my first volume that much yet since I let um one of the Anime Club members borrow it from me. And yeah. Um, these two were part of that manga haul I recently did. Black Torch, Volumes 1 and 2. I just saw them randomly and they look pretty cool so I thought I'd check them out. And that's pretty much what they do with all manga. If they look pretty interesting to me, I'd pick them up. That's what I do with most of my manga that, manga that I collect. And yeah, so that's Black Torch. And I won't be doing price listings down in the description because, you know, that take a long as time to do. And then we've got Nisekoi. So far, I'm loving this series. I just picked up volume 3 of it. And I think there's like 25 volumes. Correct me if I'm wrong. But, yeah. And I got stuff up here. That's why I'm not going to pull them out too much. Because I got stuff around and all that. Because I'm still organizing things. But, yeah. I also got this manga called The Demon Prince that, um, that a friend it was having me keep hold of them. Like, they're just having me keep hold of it for them. They wanted me to keep it safe, so I'm just keeping it safe for them. And they just told me to just keep it safe, and I was waiting to, like, um, talk to them again so I can... Let them know I feel like they should keep it because I don't, I don't really feel like holding on to someone else's property. But as long as they trust me with it, I guess it's fine. But I want to try to return it to them. So yeah, this one isn't really mine. I don't want to say it is even though they're just telling me it's fine, you can keep it. I'm going to try to give back to them at some point point, give it back to them because I don't really want it. And yeah, the Silent Voice. So far, I've all, I've already read the or watched the movie, which was really good, fantastic. 
way better than your, than your name, because your name was a terrible anime film, man. It, it was terrible. It, the story was not that well developed in the movie. The, um, the characters barely had any good development, and the ending was just okay. It wasn't really that interesting. And the concept was pretty cool. I'll, I'll admit that the concept for Kimi no Nawa, aka Your Name, was pretty good. But the rest of the movie wasn't that great. But I'm sure the manga is better, but yeah. But since I've seen the movie of A Silent Voice, I wanted to collect all seven volumes of A Silent Voice. So I got one, two, and three. Haven't gotten four yet, but that's what it is. But yeah. So far, I've read a little bit of Volume 1. It's pretty good so far. I haven't gotten to Volume 2 or 3. And then I got Holic Re, which is a mistake. Because the Re part is actually a continuation of a storyline, which I didn't even notice at the time until I actually looked at it when I was reading part of the manga. I then checked the title and I noticed it said Re, and I was like, oh shit. I'm skipping ahead through the story, so maybe I shouldn't continue with that. But yeah, I got I also got Volume One of Devil's Line. Pretty cool action so far, action flick I guess. Um, I haven't I don't remember much of of it from reading it, but so far it's pretty cool. Cause I do remember some of the action scenes and like the characters designs that they chose. I know that they recently came out with an anime of of this manga but I don't know how I feel about Devil's Line that much yet because I haven't really read it too much now if you saw my manga review of Artie Ferretta volume 1 then that was just like one of multiple iterations I did of it because the damn thing wouldn't process and upload so many times because I've been trying to upload through phone which is about the only way I can upload because for some reason my laptop won't let me do flash drive uploads from my phone to connecting to my laptop and all my photos and all that from my phone to my laptop and then doing it from there for some reason won't let me do the videos from there so I had to upload through phone that's why um, the, the um iteration that I did for Ari Ferretta Volume 1 manga review was different than my other ones because I I was just pissed off with the issues I had with trying to upload through my phone so you guys at least got the manga review of Volume 1 but it was just a different iteration of multiple that I did which were better ones but I think the one that I put up was actually pretty decent anyway and then I also got volumes 2 and 3 of Ari Furda because I am enjoying the manga so far it's just that it's a little slow but it takes time so I'm giving it a chance and it's pretty cool manga so far I haven't read 2 and 3 because I just picked them up plus I've been playing my my new PlayStation Vita I got for Christmas the games on it and been playing some Nintendo Switch stuff, Super Smash Bros, all that and yeah then you've got Ghost Diary. This manga, I've done a manga review on, which I do want to do a redo on. But yeah, it's a pretty good manga so far, or from what I've read. I've only read the first volume, obviously, but it's really good. I recommend it a lot so far. I just haven't gotten to the other two volumes, and yes, there's only two volumes. Turns out it was just a three-volume series, but yeah. Then you've got Goblin Slayer, Volume 1, Side, side Story Year 1. If you can see right there, it says Side Story Year 1, so I'm not sure if I should read this or not. If it's a spin-off or not, if anyone can let me know in the description if this one's like a, a spin-off story of the actual series or something, which I don't know if it is, but if anyone can let me know if I'm skipping chapters or volumes or whatever please let me know because i don't know what the side story year one means if i'm like skipping anything or not so please let me know if i'm skipping any with anything for this one next we've got Artie ferretta 
volumes 1 and 2. I haven't reviewed them yet because I haven't even read them at all yet. They're just a blind pickup, plus I like collecting Yen Press manga, but I have more than just Yen Press manga. In fact, most of my collection is Viz. Like, as you can see, I got Viz. Viz. And then I got more Viz right there. Other than that, I got some other Yen Press manga and Vertical Comics. Um, Godansha. Mainly Yen Press and Viz I have. I do have Seven Seas, uh, manga, stuff like that. But yeah. Next is Knitter, aka N or Knitter. It probably sounded wrong the first way I said it. YouTube's just gonna watch this video and demonetize it. Whatever, like I was demonetized anyway. But yeah. NTR aka Netsuzo Trap. It's a Yuri manga. I haven't gotten to read it yet in it yet. And I was gonna pick up multiple volumes of it when I first saw it because like hey, I saw this in one video on the Anime Man's channel, so I thought I might check it out. But I haven't read it yet, nor did they have all the volumes with it. They only had one, three, and four. They didn't have volume two, so I wasn't able to go in order by pickup. So I just got volume one instead. Now Spice and Wolf, this was shit. I don't I don't like the manga. I'm sure the anime was better, but so far it's a little boring. I'm not really into it so far. But yeah. The next manga is Val X Love. Um, not sure what this manga is yet, but it came wrapped in plastic. Same thing as my Goblin Slayer manga, but I haven't read them yet, so I'm leaving that for some other time. Then we've got Again, Volume 1. I'm not sure what this manga is yet, I haven't really gotten to it either. I just, it was a blind purchase mainly. But also, Spice and Wolf. It's okay, I just I just don't like Spice and Wolf that much. So I'm thinking I might pick up the next manga, I'm not sure yet. I want to finish collecting for some other manga like Citrus, which we'll get to in a minute. Children of the Whales, Volume 1. Barely touched it, as you can see. Um, Ruby, Red Like Roses, so you've seen my review on it. If you haven't, you should go check that out, because I highly recommend watching it. Because that's where I go into detail about this manga. But since this is just a manga collection video, I could tell you more. That this manga is really freaking awesome. You've got to read it. It gives true credit to the fans that have actually worked on this project. As well as the white, the mirror mirror. But this was the first one I read. So far, it's fantastic, man. I'm telling you, man. It's fantastic. Highly recommend it. And then Ruby, Mirror Mirror, I have not read yet. But I know that some of the same fans that worked on Red Like Roses are having like um credit or whatever in Mirror Mirror as well. Because I'm going to review this one as well whenever I read it. I'm sure I'm going to enjoy it a lot just as much as I the red light grows, if not even more. Next we've got Tokyo Ghoul Re Volume 1. This is a pretty good one if you see my review. I'm sure it was a pretty short review. Because that was at a time when I was just rushing through things. Because I was... I noticed I had a pretty larger collection than I did when I first started out collecting manga. Because at first I barely had any of this. Like I only had like like five or ten manga but that's it but then when i started doing youtube videos on manga that's when my manga review started but they were rushed and all that because i had finished so many manga and i wanted to get to reviewing them but you know just being young and dumb that kind of thing but yeah it was pretty good i like the story so far i haven't been able to pick up volume two but i will some point citrus volumes one and two Again, I have a short review of these two, which I was going to pick up volume 
three, four, and five, but Barnes and Noble, when I went there to pick up manga the other day, they didn't have three or four. They only had volumes five and eight, and they had a shitload of volume eight. Like, I mean, a shitload. Like, they had, like, five books of volume eight. And it was ridiculous. And they only have three volumes of five. But they didn't have volumes three or four, which I'm very disappointed in. So I can't really continue this series until I get the manga. And I'm not going to watch the anime until I've read all the manga. And next is not All You Need Is Kill. Next is the Ruby manga by Shiromania. By Shiromiya. I've only gotten this far so far. I know it's pathetic. But so far it's pretty good. It's pretty much what I expected. Haven't gotten too far. I like the um, the artwork on the back as well as the front. Especially like the um the bullet casing smoke or whatever. Or dust or whatever it is from the bullet casings on the cover. Because you think it's like actual dust or something on the book, but it's not. It's just designed into the book on the artwork, which is really cool. And you can see the detail that they put onto the blade of her weapon. The actual weapon itself, the pieces that hold it together. Her arm, like her sleeve and all that, the gloves. Same thing on the back, you got the detail like... um. The ribbons that Blake has on her outfit, her bow, um, Weiss's arm, her glove, um, Yane's top, aka her, her like um, jacket and all that. But yeah, pretty cool so far. Um, let me see if I can get this. Yeah, sorry, hold on. But yeah, that's the Ruby manga by Shiromiya. All you need is kill. I did a manga review. No, I don't know if I did a manga review on it. I think I did. But whatever, it's really good. I loved it a lot. It was really cool. And yeah, this is actually the next manga review I need to do. <laughs> Do that right after this video, actually. But, um, yeah, this video is, I mean, manga, really good. It's only one book, it's just a bind up. And this is a really fantastic manga. Great story, really cool concept. It contains like a war story, or whatever. But it's like about this one guy who's going through a time loop and... I don't know, it's pretty cool. You guys should check out my manga review when it goes up. Because I haven't gotten the manga review settled yet. But in that video, that's where I'll go into detail about this manga. Because it's damn good. Very good read. Pretty good ending too. Because this book was like, hot damn. <laughs> Like, seriously, man, anyone that has read All You Need Is Kill, I bet you're pretty much agreeing with me right now, because this manga was really good. I loved it a lot, man. It was really outstanding for what it was. Oh my god, I can't fit this manga back into my bookshelf. Hold on. But yeah. Next you've got all Kaki Gurui Volume One. It's um just a, the first volume. I have a review up of it, which has gotten a lot of views apparently. But um I have read to, I've already read this first volume, 
It was pretty good. Not that bad. I'd say um, there was quite a lot of fan service though. So it's one of those series. If you're not into fan service, I wouldn't recommend it. But if you are into fan service, I could say it's alright. But um, yeah. Now this, this is where we're getting into one of the heavy hitters right here. Because this series, Toyo Game, is very similar to some other series out there like Keen's Game from what I've heard. Because some people out there have read this manga. And it's really good. Um, when this one small YouTuber that I know, um, he um, reviewed this manga and said it's pretty similar to Kane's game, but it's actually better to the, than than that. Um, personally, I really love this manga. It does contain like um gore and like um dark themes. Um, it does contain some nudity in it if you're not into any stuff like that then i wouldn't recommend it for that but if you like action or like um mystery mainly not action but like mystery gore stuff like that it's pretty cool for that and that's why that's why i liked it because it was a really interesting story and then we got tokyo esp an a purchase that so here's a quick little story. I have a thing about these two manga. Toyo Game was a manga that I wasn't trying to get. It was an accidental buy, but it was my first purchase for manga. And Tokyo ASP was the manga I was trying to get because I heard about it and I was like, you know what? I'm gonna get Tokyo ASP so this is my first time buying manga. And I accidentally picked up Toyo Game, but I didn't notice until I read it in the car when I was waiting for my mom to pick something up. Because when I was in the car, I checked the manga that I had just purchased and it turned out to be Toyo Game, and I was like, wait a minute. I was supposed to get Toyo Tokyo ESP, not Toyo Game. And then I ended up picking up Tokyo ESP down the line, obviously. But both are really good series, because so far I've already read the first volume of Tokyo ESP. And it's really good. Cool characters, great design. I love the artwork on the front, the spine, and the back. Really outstanding. I liked it a lot. And yeah, that's all of my manga. Right now. Not including the Demon Prince, because I don't count that one as one that I own. Because it's technically just one that a friend said I could keep. But they wanted me to keep it safe. But I'm going to give them back to them when school starts back up. And then some small things I've got. Some PlayStation Vita games. I've only got seven, which they were. Or they are Gra Gravity Rush. More combat, Unit 13, Freedom Wars, Eve for Speed, Most Wanted, Summon Night 6, and Persona 4 Golden. Then I've got a 4 terabyte hard drive, Titanfall 2, Okami HD, and some other stuff. Alright, hope you guys enjoyed. Don't go.